Okay, Yuzu. Honda again. Shoji. The wife. The car is ready. It seems we were able to secure the roads. Then let us be on our way. Hmm? Go on ahead. I'll catch up to you in a moment. Hmm? As you wish. After confirming that uh, Azuma is gone, Amane approaches you. He and those who follow him, we meet for the first time. Ninda, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? Is this a Mari thing again? Do you people just have demons in you? Just casually? All the damn time? What the fuckery? I have been waiting for this opportunity to greet you all. What the fuckery? Impressive. You discerned that I am not this girl. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Metatron's subordinate, the Angel Remiel. Okay, cool. Yeah, sure. All right. All right. Cool. Dope. That, yeah, that just happens. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> Cool! Dope! It is given to me to watch over the one who resurrects. I'm the the what the ha hua. The one who resurrects. Amane resurrects. She's immortal. Amane is immortal and you watch over her, is that what you're telling me? Aight, cool. The angel Remio? Metatron? Metatron is an angel close to him. It is through Metatron that he speaks his will. Metatron and his cohort monitor demons so that they do not ascend into heaven. I now speak to you with Amane's cooperation. Amane's cooperation? So the Shomonkai is carrying out the will of angels? No. The teachings of the Shomonkai diverge from our will. I ain't surprised about that. But Amane has heard my words. She is in accord with our goal. I have revealed myself to you in order to save humans. Aight, cool. If you'd done it sooner, things wouldn't have gotten this bad. He has warned humans before, but they ignored him, became debased, and summoned demons. All of this is what man has brought upon himself. If you cannot redeem your own sins, then man's future holds only destruction. I mean, that's one way to look at it, I guess. This is an ordeal given unto humans. Whether man will settle it himself, or depend on his intervention. If it becomes clear that it is beyond man's capacity, he will save mankind at once. But if he were to do so, man would forever live under our control. Okay, so basically, if mankind proved that they can't look after themselves, then God's gonna be like, I right, look, I right, look, guys, I gave you two chances. Free, actually. I gave you the first chance. You fucked up with Babylon. I gave you another chance. You fucked up again with this. Look. Look, guys. You can't keep doing this. Man's autonomy is valuable to him. He kindly watches to see if man can redeem himself. Okay, cool. So God's gonna just rip us of our free will. Dope! <laughs> we, his servants, all hope for mankind to settle this ordeal by itself. I hope that's not what it's implying. What's so kind about doing nothing until the last second? As I said, it is all so that man may have his autonomy. Mankind is at a crossroads. Either they will walk with demons, or with him. Eternal damnation and eternal salvation are always opposite sides of the same coin. As you know, this lockdown is his will, enacted by man's cooperation. This is a vital stage that may be man's last turning point. Yes, that is why I had been waiting for an opportunity to meet all of you. Depending on how man navigates this ordeal, your judgment day may be at hand. You must know what that means, yes? No, we will not annihilate you. But man will be deemed unworthy to stand on his own and will be dealt with accordingly. If man deals with this nascent mistake, if they dispose of the demons properly, they will earn his forgiveness, and this world will once again be entrusted to man. Okay, yeah, so straight up, either get rid of the demons yourself, and keep doing what you do, or fuck up, and God will just say, alright, you guys don't deserve to run your own world anymore. I'ma be here, my angel's gonna be here. We're gonna just run this shit for you. You get no say. You've had your chances. Thousands of years worth of chances. There will be a great reckoning tomorrow. A battle against the all-consuming fire awaits you. 
Correct. He bears the name of Bell, and he is fire incarnate that incinerates all. When you defeated Belder, could you feel his power flow into you? The other Bells are most likely aware of your victory. If that is so, it is yet more inevitable that you will battle against them. Extinguish the flame and protect the key to open the world. It will eventually be the salvation for you and your companions. If there is anything you would know, I shall tell you now. Oh god, alright. Should you prove incapable of dealing with the demons on your own, man will be stripped of his freedom. He will walk a new path, dictated by us. And if you prove completely irredeemable, your history will come to its end. Alright, cool. Don't piss off gods what you're saying. Don't fuck up and don't piss off God. Your government enacted this lockdown, but it was we who instructed them to do so. We angels have been observing how man will deal with demons in the lockdown. We seek to determine whether man, who has betrayed his will for so long, is still worthy to be given care of this world. We observe how you came to meddle in power that is not yours, and how you will atone. If our decision is unfavorable, it will be your judgment day. Yes. The key is to quell the chaos ensuing from the demon's appearance in the city. The demons overrunning the city were released into the world by the hands of man. A shameful act for creatures that he entrusted with this world. This lockdown is the wages of that sin, as well as a chance to observe man's reaction. Man may prove his virtue by removing the evil that he has introduced to God's world. He showers his limitless love upon mankind. <laughs> That's a matter of perspective. The perfect response to his love is for man to repent his sins and overcome his ordeal. I am here only to provide a beginning to that effort. I warn you, to search for the summoning server is to place this world in peril. I will not interfere with your actions during this ordeal. But if one without power seeks that server, this world will perish. That is why I will not tell you now. Heed my words. We angels are always watching man's actions. Remember that. Always? What about when I'm in the shower? <laughs> what about when I'm in the shower? You watching? It pains my heart. Please do not make me repeat myself. Mankind brought this disaster upon themselves. But he has answered your sin with mercy, and given you seven days of reprieve. Ah, uh, you call that... <laughs> Again, perspective. I guess it would be seen as mercy to them to say, I look, you've had thousands of years. So you f clean this up in seven days, or, n or fuck it. I guess that can't be seen as mercy, but to us it's like... <laughs> I don't know, man. However... If you do not rectify your situation on your own, your sin cannot be forgiven. Ignoring your sin and trying to save yourself will only bring about the same result. We who serve him hope for your redemption. May his blessings be with you. She's gone. Hey, so that wasn't Amani? Was it actually an angel? Apparently. Yeah. At least, it seemed completely different than how Amane usually is. Damn it! Did you hear all that selfish stuff it was saying? Yeah, that's angels for you. But now we know angels are behind the lockdown, and we know how to get it lifted. We have to do something about all the demons, right? But what? It said there is a way to the server, but what did it mean about putting the world in danger? Jeez, it raised as many questions as it answered. No kidding. Damn it! On top of this, our death clock might run out tomorrow. No matter what we do, we need to find a way to get rid of all the demons. There's no time to waste. Let's go, everyone. Hey, well, that was a conversation that we had. When you pass the uh, station, you shoot any stops. Hey, I've been wondering, what are we supposed to do about all this? I have no idea. I don't mean anything in particular, just all this stuff about demons and angels, uh, the server and the War of Bell. Why do we have to go through all this? I want to go home. Oh, it's fine. 
sorry, I didn't mean to give you a hard time. But if we run, everyone trapped in here is going to die, right? All our hard work up to now would be for nothing. So I know I can't run, but knowing that makes it worse. I mean, I'm just a normal girl! You is. You're also voiced by a meme queen. I want to go shopping like normal with a normal boyfriend and live my normal life! I'm not normal, so I can't help you there. And then this happened. Now I wonder every day if I'll die tomorrow. It's just too much! Understandable. Yuzu. Sorry. I'm... I'm gonna go wash my face. She's really at the end of her rope. But I don't blame her, given what's happening. Honestly, I'm getting tired of it too. Can we really save everyone this way? Won't it be easier to let someone else do it? It would be easier, but that's not gonna happen. There are times I want to run away just as bad as Yuzu. <laughs> Man, you're a tough one. Yuzu's at her limit. She's really tried her best to endure all this until now. So have I. I just can't show any weakness since Yuzu's with us. Yo, welcome back, Yuhu. Break time's almost over. Yeah, um, sorry. I said some stuff I shouldn't have. But there's still hope, so I won't be so selfish anymore. I'll do my best. So, um, don't be mad at me. Why would we be mad at you? Yeah, why would we be mad at you? Thanks. Why? <laughs> What's wrong, Fru Fru? You were bawling like a little girl just a second ago. Fru Fru, that's a new one. But why would I? Why would? Okay. Oh, so now it's Fru Fru? You dumb net junkie, and I wasn't bawling. <laughs> I got her good. Now that's more like the Yuzu I know. Atsuro. D don't think I'm thanking you, moron. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, wait. How come you're mad at me and not him? Because I'm the good boy. <laughs> Because I'm the good boy, sir. <laughs> You're the punching bag. Hey! Our dynamic has been established. <laughs> Alright, am I missing anything, by the way? I should probably double check. So, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Nothing. Alright. So, there's a battle here. There's Azuna. Sherman Kai. Let's stop ignoring Honda. <sighs> huh? What's wrong, Mr. Honda? Oh, it's you kids. I was just thinking. With all of you, me, Kaido, there are way too many comps around. Fact. My mission was to secure a comp, so it worked out for me. But it is a little worrisome. Huh? Your mission? Someone had an interest in some rumor about comps. They asked me to look into it. Oh, I see. By the way, how did you get your comp, Mr. Honda? This one? It belonged to a Shomonkai member who died fighting a demon. That's not how you got yours? I see. I won't ask. We were so surprised when these demons suddenly popped out of them. <laughs> I'm sure you would be. That would be a big shock to anybody. And unless they knew about the Harmonizer, they wouldn't think they could fight demons. Well, that means there must be a good number of people who summoned demons but died. It's likely that those people's comps got picked up by other people too. I believe that more and more people are getting these comps. But from where? Who is getting these tools into people's hands? And why? Well, I'm heading out. Take care of yourselves. He's right. Who's really distributing the comps, and for what purpose? Just finding out won't do us any good. It'd be nice to be able to do something about it. Alright, cool. Shoji, Honda again, a battle, Izuna, Sherman Kai. Hey there. Looks like you're still alive and kicking. Good. Yeah, ask, good. Us, ask us tomorrow. Hey, quit acting so surprised. Well, if you can still have that attitude, I've got nothing to worry about. Uh, by the way, did you learn anything new, Miss Shoji? In fact, I did. The purpose of the lockdown was to keep the demons in here after all. The government didn't want to admit that to the public, so they made up the gas story. They also cut off television, radio, and phone reception to lock down information. But this will all end soon, in the worst possible way. I see. You're trying to deal with the lockdown. I had a feeling you knew it already. It's true that the government is planning to kill everybody along with the demons. You really think they'll sacrifice everyone inside the lockdown area? Yes, they'll do it. Not just the people in Tokyo. To protect the secret, they would eliminate anyone. That's probably why my mentor... What? Oh, sorry. 
That's got nothing to do with you. All I can do is cheer for you, but I'm expecting a lot from you kids. Good luck. Thank you, madam. She's gone. Yeah, she really didn't want to tell us about her mentor. It seemed it had to do with the government, though. I wonder what happened. Alright, well. This first. Psst, you kids. What's up, bruh? Huh? Are, are you talking to us? A man in Shomonkai Shom garb suddenly speaks to you. You've been probing into the Shomonkai, haven't you? Nope, don't worry about it. Y yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. We're not really, uh... D don't worry, this isn't what it looks like. I can't waste any time. What? Huh? The majesty the Shomonkai worship isn't God. It's a demon. I'm sorry? That's why I'm getting out of there. I just wanted to tip you off before I go. Because you seem like you might be able to stop them. Look, won't you just listen? I was part of the comp project. I know a few things the others don't. Yes, that's right. My team was under his supervision. Isn't one of you his cousin? I know you're investigating the summoning program server. Almost everyone in the Shomonkai except Lady Amane is on guard against you. Okay, okay. My main job was mostly verifying data and running performance checks. I couldn't tell you how to completely erase or control demons, unfortunately. That's fine. What should we ask him? I, I was involved in the project, but I barely touched the main system myself. Naoya handled most of the core programming. His processes were a complete black box. His mind was extraordinary. None of us came close. Sorry, but I can't help you there. The traditional summoning method involved a magic circle and an arcane procedure. The summoner himself had to be very well versed in the lore he was using. But our program automated all the necessary steps, so anyone at all could use it. The problem came when we had to recreate the most important part, the summoner's desires. I don't know. It was Naoya who figured it out. He somehow recreated the power of the heart and managed to finish the program. No one. Not even those in the Shomonkai knows where the server is anymore. After the comp was finalized and it went into production, the server disappeared. But it must be up and running somewhere, since the demon summoning program still works. One thing's for certain. Lady Amane acted as though she still knew its whereabouts. Lady Amane had succeeded in summoning a demon before the development of the comps. Okay. Whether it was her powers as a maiden or... Something else, I don't know. But there's one rumor the worshippers whisper that strikes me as plausible. Supposedly, there's some sort of powerful demon residing inside Lady Amane. You mean, you mean the angel that we talked to? Rumor has it, Kuzuryu, our founder, performed a ritual when Lady Amane was a child. Oh dear. Anyway, Lady Amane seems to have summoned a demon in the traditional way. But since that puts a very heavy strain on the summoner, the order created comps. No, not hers. It was Lady Amane's powers that inspired the project, of course, but they weren't actually used in the comp's development. When we hit a snag in the program, Master Azuma brought in some woman. Ah, yeah. On that day, the development took a significant step forward. The woman Master Azuma brought could summon demons by playing the melody she'd written, but it seemed she had no control over what kind of demon would be summoned. It might be more accurate to say she created an environment where demons could cross over. That I don't know. I never had a chance to speak with her. But she was a woman who could summon demons. The Shomonkai would never release her. She might be sheltered in a facility somewhere, but maybe she ran away. Did that help you understand demon summoning and comps a little? It did. I need to get back. I thank you for that. If you want to know more, look for Master Azuma or Naoya. I'll be praying for you. I've been looking for Naoya for five days. Huh. That didn't clear everything up, but it's good to know. Yeah, the more information we have, the better. Wow, though. Amani could summon demons without a comp? Yeah, she's a beast. And there's one inside her? Wait a sec. About that. Yeah, that's right. What about that angel Remio that's inside Amane? Either that scientist meant the angel, or there's a different demon in her. But if there was an angel and a demon in her, wouldn't they start fighting each other? Yeah, that would be hell. That would be hell for her. Ugh, I don't get this. I'm also wondering about this other woman who could summon demons. Ah, yeah. <sighs> More mysteries. A girl who cooperated with Naoya, and a melody that summons demons. Her name is Aya. We've been over this. Still, I have a feeling that information will come in handy. It will. Let me talk to Gin. Jin. I'm never, I'm never gonna get that name right.
Alright. Alright, fair enough. That'd be worth it. That would no, not that one. That won't be worth it. I would like life aid. I would like life aid. Thirty-three. Thirty. Ooh. Drain would be good to keep though. Drain would be good to keep though. Mana bonus. Throw in Null Curse as well, why not? I don't really need these guys anymore. <laughs> They're just cannon fodder now. And this guy, really. And you, actually. You're all just cannon fodder to me. <laughs> but I'm not going to. Antifiz and Ice Ant, but I'd rather keep that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take what I have. Hey, right, cool, there's a battle. Solve any. Shut up! We're all gonna die anyway, so I'll do whatever the hell I want. Don't be so hasty. I'm sure that soon we'll be. <laughs> <laughs> you don't got a comp, do ya? So you wouldn't know. We'll listen to this. Every damn one of us is gonna die in a couple days. That guy's a demon tamer, so he can see people's death clocks. That's why he's. Yeah, I understand how he feels, but we can't let him go on doing that. Hey, what the heck? Incoming demons! <laughs> We're all gonna die in two days. 
I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want. Oh, no! Hey, you! Don't you see those demons coming this way? <laughs> My death clock still has two days on it. I can't die here. The demons. The demons. No. Get a hold of yourself! We can't give up yet! He's crazy! It might be dangerous if we get too close, but innocent people are getting involved. It's not a battle I want to fight, but I don't think we have a choice. Mm-hmm. No worries. We'll save them for sure. We just gotta beat up the demons and take away a cop. No problem! Same as always. But they'll be surrounded at this rate. We have to do something or they're screwed. First, we have to get to them and convince them that we're on their side. If we get next to them, we should be able to talk. But that demon tamer, he won't listen to a word we say unless we take away the comp. All right, cool. Magic Yang, MP Cos. Why? Why have you done this? He has another demon! Spread shit out, guys! So let me get this straight. We gotta help the civilians by getting next to them. Then we defeat that demon tamer and grab his comp. Ah, but we have to get rid of all the demons here too. Can we do this all at once? No. He's got distance. Oh, come on. That goddamn endure. That goddamn endure. God. All right. I 
Alright, we got none of those amps. We got none of those amps, that's fine. Oh yeah, he's now following me. It seems it would be good to a good idea to escort them to the south side. All right. If you could not, madam. I mean, I respect the hustle. You made an attempt. I will give you that. Has uh, confronted, comforted uh, the civil these civilians and convinced them to follow him. All right, I'll believe you. Please help me get out of here. Office girl is now following. Okay, I got two people following me. Cool. Safety, okay? Uh, really? You're here to save me? Why would Alright. That's the choice he decided to make. Wind and ice. And a nice good mow down for equal measure. Coming 
coming from over there too. God, always with the endure with you people. Alright, cool. Second verse, same as the first. You are falling behind. You are falling behind, madam. You sound bitch! You sound bitch! <laughs> yeah, fuck you! How about that? <laughs> How about that? Fuck you and the horse you rode in on! Thank you. 
Understandable. Give it a physical, cause I'm never, I never use that move. So get rid of it and give it a physical instead. Okay, the idea was to switch. And get a uh, get Yuzu to get a kill, but well, that's not going to happen by the looks of it. Oh no, it is because she needs the XP. She has fallen behind. anymore <laughs> thank you but damn it my comp thank you I'll remember this for as long as I live but you guys use demons too I think I'm still kind of scared understandable glad that's over good job yeah you're right Demon tamers can see people's death clocks. Have you? Yes. Did you not notice this? If more people find out what's going to happen in two days, they'll get desperate like that guy. Yeah, I don't blame them. I'm pretty anxious myself. Wow, you sound really cool. Thank you. I'm glad I'm with you. I know, right? Come on, let's keep going and make sure these people have nothing to worry about. Oh, God. That's a battle. That's gonna be a boss fight of some kind. Okay. That's gonna have to wait. Okay. 